Hi, I'm Marisol. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating a spread celebrating El Dia de los Muertos and I am going to be using some cocoa, um, what is it? Yeah, cocoa images that I got from an Etsy shop and according to Ali's collab with LPGT Creates, Papel Picado. And so I showed you a brief um picture of the altar of coco if you've never seen the movie coco you should it's a beautiful movie it really teaches about the significance of el dia de los muertos and why it's so important um and overall it's just a beautiful movie um so yeah i wanted to attempt to recreate the altar here and i am using distracts oxide ink i think i'm using antique linen and i had to change my blending tools because i didn't feel like it was blending like i wanted to and so here i'm just creating that kind of shadow that the altar had and um I also mask it. This is low-tech masking tape, so it doesn't damage your um, pages. It lifts right up um, really nicely without damaging your pages, and I love using it, especially when I use Distressed Oxide inks. So that's the page. I'm going to let that set into the page, and I'm going to start over here. I want to start putting, like, the banners of the Papel Picado, so I start tracing kind of a line. Um, with my pencil to make sure I got it where I want it and then I'm going to go over it with a very thin pen that's the Muji um, 0.38 and so I'm eras erasing my pencil lines I'm going to go in to start to put in my papel picado um, it's they're all really cute I believe that according to Ali and um Lupita LPTG Creates still has it available in their shop and it's really cute. Uh, check it out. I'll have their sites, their websites linked below. Um, and you can also use discount code for Allie Marisol 10. Um, and for Lupita, it is Corner, corner 10. So anyways, since I took up most of that right page, I am going to add a long box sticker on the sidebar just in case I need more area room to write. I can use that. And then I'm going to add some, the what is it, Hector and um, Miguel's um picture or image sticker on that side but i wanted a quote on that top so i use these stickers from lbtg creates and i'm using the quote they live in our memories and i thought that like was perfect for um this spread and here i am just placing that sticker i keep it because the other side has a lot of decorations I don't put a whole lot on that other side of the page I do add Dante and the guitar because um, right music was the Miguel's passion so I thought that needed to go there um, so now I'm headed over to the other side now that I felt kind of that that um, distress oxide in ink settled into the page and here I'm just playing a little bit of tech tricks with the um, images that I printed out and cut in my Cricut machine. I really didn't gauge the size of those images and I felt they were probably a little too big for what I wanted to do. But I didn't want to go back on to pull out my Cricut, go back and kind of resize everything. So I'm working with what I have, um, with what I had printed out. And here are some bee garlands. I, like I said, I was at my very best trying to replicate um, what they, how, what the altar looked in the movie. And it, I mean, this is not an exact copyright, but more or less close to um, the image. Um, so now I'm adding some bananas um, to the top. They add, um, they had a lot of fruit, shoes, drinks, um, 
I want to say alcohol and coffee, but I'm not entirely sure because every time I expanded the image, it would become blurry. But I do believe that's what it is. So here right now, my images didn't have um, a frame. So I'm using Archer and Olive's um, acrylographs and I am creating frames for them. I use more of the brown tones and I they didn't most of it didn't have um names. Um only one did which was the Rusik brown um but then the other ones were brown as well. Um they just didn't have a name to it. So like I said I'm just going around doing these um attempting to create frames for all these pictures and then letting it dry and I'm going to go over a gold acrylic graph and give it some detail so it just doesn't look that plain and so I mean I don't know but like I said Coco's one of my favorite movies to watch with my girls and Isabella um, so let me know in the comments if you like to watch the movie with your kids or, I mean, you could like it yourself. I know I like it. Um, like I said, it's one of my very favorite movies. Um, and yes, I cry every time when Miguel runs to Mama Coco to remind her of Hector. Um, I think that is one of the most beautiful moments of, I mean, the movie has a lot of really beautiful, um, moments, but that one is like, that one hits me hard. Um, anyways, back to the spread. So here I am, I'm going to finish up with that and then I'm going to move on the other side and make that, um kind of color over to make a frame um a lot of I don't know if it's because I've I'm I've had my acrylographs like stored for some time now it's, it's not something I use um on a daily basis so they did take um some time to kind of activate and then when I activated it it took a uh, like a little bit to get it um flowing um, but once it was flowing, uh, you know, I was able to complete the frames. So now that that is all there, I'm going to start to go around with the flowers. And this is also an LPTG Create um, floral. And let me get the exact name. So the name is Sempa Sushi, and it's known as the flower of the um dead in mexico so here i am i'm kind of trying to figure out how i wanted to do my altar but i didn't want to cover that part later on on the plan with me i remove all these other flowers i had added other flowers to it thinking that to make it more fuller i don't know if i'm explaining that correctly but i did not like how it turned out so i remove it all so here i am like i said i'm just going around putting all the florals um and the simpa su chi flower around it um before i move on to the actual altar and add in kind of the fruits and drinks and um all the other things so maybe i'll just fast forward through this part with a little bit of music
So here I am back, um, like I'm adding some more of that bead garland and that if I didn't mention that before, it's from According to Ali. It's from her Christmas collection and it'll be available in her shop um, this coming up month. Um, like I said, I don't, I didn't like, at this point, I'm not liking how the florals up there is looking but I around the altar but I do leave it until later on when I kind of remove everything and then um just finish using the Simpa Sushi um florals around um the other thing I didn't like about the um altar was that kind of side piece it just looked um, I don't know. It didn't look right. It just doesn't look like the other side. So I do fix that later on during the plan with me. So here I am. I'm just adding kind of the fruit and the bread and some sugar skulls. I was hoping to find some candles, but I didn't. So that was kind of the only thing I didn't add to the altar. And I wish maybe I should have like drew them, but I was a little tired um, and uh, didn't want to draw. I'm not a really good, I don't really doodle all that great. So yeah, if there's a sticker for it, I'm going to use a sticker. <laughs> so here I am. I'm putting another quote that came with the Butterfly Spirits uh, sticker sheet from Lupita Shop. And here I am just adding some drinks and coffee. And then I move on to adding boxes. Um, lately, I don't know, I've been kind of putting on boxes all crooked. So I've been having a hard time with my boxes. Um, but anyhow, I do add a few boxes on the other side. I don't really have, like I said, that much room because I kind of dedicated it to the altar but I was checking up on what I had this weekend doesn't seem like I have a lot so you know I'll use that sidebar long um, box if I need more room for the weekend so here I am I don't usually use checklists I usually go for lines but I thought that I'd go for the checklist um, so I'm just going to add a few checklists on the spread um, for the week. And I'm not adding much decor here or any more boxes. Um, because like I said, I feel like the altar was pretty decorative. Like took a lot of space. And so... I wanted to keep everything else um, more simple, I guess. So here I am. I'm just ha adding that um, Halloween sticker to mark Halloween day. And then I am writing Dia de los Muertos. So like I said earlier, this is when I kind of removed everything and went around and cut it up. And then... Um, kind of put the little bit of flowers that I had around and this to me looked a lot better I mean the flowers are a little bit bigger in some areas but I think it looked a lot cuter so this is my spread I hope you all like it let me know in the comments please subscribe and thank you for watching bye